In 2018, David Lambert found himself in a Florida police interview room, confronted with the decades-old mystery of his sister's disappearance. 24 years had passed since she went missing, and now a startling confession was on the horizon. The authorities felt that David, now 38, was holding crucial information deep within him. Rewinding to 1985, David and his younger sister, Martha Jean, were residents of St. Augustine, Florida, nestled on the northeastern shoreline. They resided in a semi-rural trailer not far from Florida's renowned beaches. David was a teenager at 14, while Martha, two years his junior, was just 12. Attending Kenner Junior High School, Martha Jean was distinctly small for her age, with her weight barely touching 70 pounds. David characterized his sister as tenacious and spirited. In November 1985, as the Lamberts geared up for Thanksgiving, a culinary mishap with the turkey led to heightened tensions in the household. To escape the ensuing uproar, David and Martha Jean left their home for a walk. David, having some cash on hand, entrusted it to Martha Jean for a store visit. Their wanderings took them past the now derelict Florida Memorial College. Though abandoned, it was a beloved haunt for local children. A detective on their case even dubbed the area the poor kid's Disney World. While exploring the deserted college, Martha Jean decided to venture elsewhere. She subsequently vanished without a trace. Despite exhaustive police searches, no sign of the young girl emerged. From the outset, David was under a cloud of suspicion, but a lack of concrete evidence hampered any definitive action. The mystery of Martha Jean's disappearance took its toll on her parents, leading them to divorce by the year 2000. Many years later, after an unrelated arrest for writing a bad check, David dropped a bombshell. While being interrogated about the fraudulent check, David felt compelled to unburden himself to Detective Scene Thies. He confessed to being behind Martha Jean's demise, alleging he had buried her in a nearby mine. Yet, even after searching the specified mine, the police found no evidence. Lacking tangible proof, they had to release David. In June 2010, Detectives Thais and Howard, the latter often referred to as the third, took another stab at cracking the case. Conversations with those close to the Lamberts at the time prompted a revisiting of David's account. Under renewed questioning, David divulged a tragic altercation at the abandoned college over money. Martha Jean had attacked him after he declined her request for more cash. In the ensuing struggle, she fell backward onto an exposed metal rod, which fatally wounded her. David described the harrowing aftermath. He tried to aid his injured sister, but with no one nearby to help, he opted to conceal the accident. Using a discarded street sign, he buried her. Detectives probed David on why he kept the secret from his parents. Fear of their reaction, notably from his mother, was the reason he gave for his years of silence. Presented with a photograph of Martha Jean, David provided a written confession and even drew a map hoping to pinpoint where her body could be found. But her remains were never uncovered. David's mother staunchly believed in her son's innocence, telling officers he had a tendency to spin tall tales. Later on, David rescinded his confession. Due to the lack of conclusive evidence and legal changes since 1985, taking into account David's youth at the time and the context, no charges were filed against him. The actual happenings of that ill-fated Thanksgiving day are still enigmatic. Stay tuned for further updates.